Hi there, Murray's here with the Resuscitation Coach. On this channel we do all things resuscitation, so please consider subscribing. Today we are launching our basic ECG series. In this video we'll be discussing the heart's anatomy, basic electrophysiology. So let's jump straight in. Here we go. In this session, we'll be discussing the heart's anatomy, basic electrophysiology, and the pacemakers of the heart. We know that deoxygenated blood enters the heart via the superior and inferior vena cava. The blood enters the right atrium, and from the right atrium, blood passes through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Remember, the RI in tri reminds you that it's on the right side. From there, the ventricle contracts, blood pushes through the pulmonic valve into the pulmonary artery, and from the pulmonary artery, blood goes to the lungs for gas exchange. From the lungs, the blood returns via the pulmonary vein and enters the left atrium. From the left atrium, the atria contracts, blood it pushes through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. Remember, the L in mitral reminds you that the valve is on the left side. From there, the ventricle contracts, Blood passes through the aortic valve into the aorta and gets spread through the rest of the body. So let's review the conduction system of the heart. We know that normal cardiac impulses originates in the sinus node or SA node, a structure located posteriorly at the juncture with the superior vena cava. From there, the conduction travels down three internodal pathways. You have your anterior internodal pathways, which arises at the cranial end of the sinus node. It divides into branches, one to the left atrium, called the Bachmann's bundle, and the other along the right side of the intraarterial septum to the AV node. You have the middle internodal pathway, which arises along the endocardial surface of the sinus node and descends through the intraarterial septum to the AV node. You also have the posterior internodal pathway, which arises from the caudal end of the sinus node and approaches the AV node at its posterior aspect. The speed of conduction through the atria via these pathways is approximately a thousand milliseconds. From the internodal pathways, it reaches the AV node or atrioventricular node. The AV node is located inferiorly in the right atrium anterior to the ostium of the coronary sinus and above the tricuspid valve. The speed of conduction is slowed down to about 200 milliseconds through the AV node. The AV node is an anatomically complicated network of fibers. These fibers converge at its lower margin to form a discrete bundle of fibers called the bundle of his. This structure penetrates the annulus fibrosis and arrives at the upper margin of the muscular intraventricular septum. There, the bundle of heaves gives origin to the bundle branches. The left bundle branch arises at a series of radiations or fascicles at right angles to the bundle of heaves. A superior anterior fascicle courses down the anterior aspect 
of the intraventricular septum to the anterolateral papillary muscle where it breaks up into the Purkinje network. The inferior posterior fascicle is shorter and thicker, passing posteriorly to the base of the posteromedial papillary muscle where it branches into the Purkinje network. Burkinji fibers to the interventricular septum may arise as a separate radiation or as fibers from either the anterior or posterior fascicles. The right bundle branch courses down the intraventricular septum on the right side. It contributes Burkinji fibers to the septum only near the apex of the right ventricle. At the lower end of the septum, it passes into the right ventricular wall where it branches into the Purkinje network. Remember team, that electrical impulses leaves the AV node, it passes into the bundle of HES and then down the bundle branches simultaneously. The first section of the ventricle to begin depolarization is the mid portion of the intraventricular septum from the left side, giving rise to the normal Q wave on a 12 lead ECG. The walls of the left and right ventricles are depolarized simultaneously. The speed of conduction through the ventricular Purkinje network is rapid, it's about 4000 milliseconds. Conduction in the ventricle muscle itself is considerably slower at about 400 milliseconds. So let's look at the pacemakers of the heart. The normal conduction system starts at the SA node. Your SA node fires at a rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. And that's why your normal sinus rhythm, the rate is 60 to 100. If your SA node fails or is suppressed, atrial pacemaker can kick in. Atrial pacing fires at a rate of 60 to 80. If the SA node fails, atrial pacing fails, the AV node can take over pacing of the heart and the AV node paces the heart at a rate of 40 to 60 beats per minute. If all of the pacemakers, the SA node, atrial pacing, and AV node pacing does not succeed, the ventricle can pace the heart. The ventricle paces the heart at the rate of 20 to 40 beats per minute. If you benefited from this video, kindly like, subscribe and smash that notification bell and please leave a comment as it helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Have a fantastic day, we'll see you in the next video.